and take note of that and say, hey, I wonder what's going on. Why do you look like that? Why, why do you have that expression on your face? Something's off. Something's not connecting, right? That's how I would take that approach. I'm always looking at my audience to make sure they understand. And if I catch something, an expression that's a little off, then I'm going to stop and actually inquire about that expression. Did I lose you somewhere? Right? Um, does it make sense to you? Not yet. Where's the disconnect? Help me understand so I can help you better. Okay? And then allow them to explain. I'm going to listen to their complete thought. Once I get that information, I can say, okay, you know what? Let me try it this way. And I give a completely different um, um, analogy or example and hopes that works. Sometimes I have to do three examples, right? And, and it's unfortunate, but there are those in the group that already got it from the first example I gave. But some people need three and four examples for it to hit home. And so what I normally do is I go back and forth. With those who already got it, I go back to them. I say, listen, I appreciate that you guys got it right away. Thank you for your patience and understanding. I just want to make sure everyone's on the same page, right? We are a, a platoon, a unit here, and no person is to be left behind. And that's my motto. I don't want to leave anybody behind. So bear with me as I get them on board. And, and there's no judgment here, right? And once we're all on the same page, guess what? We keep going. We keep going. And that's what it is, right? So, um, this is really to that presenter who suffers from this complex, right? I need you to remember this. It's not all about you. It's not about you. So don't make it about you, okay? Remove yourself from that, okay? You know, um, and as a presenter or facilitator, a coach, a teacher, or an educator, you are as much a learner as those you are sharing information or directing, Right. You are also here to learn. You are not perfect. You're far from that. Right. You've just been uh, fortunate enough that you've had a whole lot more of knowledge and information bestowed upon you. And so you have that privilege of sharing that it does not make you perfect. You just have a little bit more information than the other person in a particular area. Right. But you have to recognize in yourself that. Those that you're sharing your knowledge with also have a particular set of information and, and knowledge that are, you know, specific to them and their experiences that you have not experienced. And so you have to be open to get some of that information in your system. Right. Um, but I want you to ask yourself this. I really want you to ask yourself this. Am I open and willing to learn from those that I'm presenting to? This goes to anybody. If you're a coach, are you willing and open to listening to your players and actually taking their feedback? And it's one thing to listen to someone, right? Especially if the information is good. It's one thing to just listen and that's it. But it's another thing to listen and adopt and apply. That's power. That's influence, right? That's what you want. To be able to take something and you can get anything. You can get jewels from, you know, someone who's four, someone who's seven, someone who's 20, someone who's 17, you know, someone who's 80. Like it's it's a range of people that you can get, you know, wealth of knowledge from. It doesn't matter how old or young you are. Right. Then the other part is, do I believe they can teach me something new? Right. Or if they can teach me anything at all. And the answer should be yes, I should believe that. Because that allows me to be open, right? And the minute I feel open, guess what? Opportunity starts to flow. And then finally, I want you to ask yourself this. Do I value their opinions, those that I'm presenting to, right? Do their thoughts matter to me? And, and how do they matter to me? And why do they matter to me? Because those things are also just as important. You have to consider all these things. This is what's going to make you a better presenter. These questions that you have to ask yourself is going to put you over to the next level. All right? Because you have to be open. It's important to be open. 